Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Sleepy Sunday, and welcome to Perfect Life in Art. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be painting one of my um favourite things in the world, which is a VW camper van. Um, so um, the way I did it um was to use this um photo that I've got as an inspiration. Um, and I actually traced over it because I really liked, I was just trying to find in my house um, a good picture or something to trace over. Um, and actually Nick found this. Um, I forgot that we have it. Now I was going to use um, my watercolour pencils. However, um, I haven't really had much practice with them. Um, so first of all, I'm going to do, um, as I normally do, um, I've, so I've traced my picture onto my, sorry, Rex is getting in the way, Rex, get down. Um, I've traced my picture onto my watercolour pad, as you can see, um, but I'm going to do, so this, I'm going to, I'm going to refer to, I'm going to refer to this picture, um, I'm going to put it here, I'm going to refer to this picture um as my focus point so i'm just going to pop it over there so i can see um that's actually a canvas print itself so um on here it's just got like um a cloud and like a little bit of sea and some sand so i've pre-made the color for the pre-made the color for the sky as you can see um, if you guys are actually watching, um, then please do jump on, say hi, how are you doing? Um, hope you guys are well, hope you've had a lovely weekend and chilled and relaxed, I know I have. It's been a really, really nice weekend. So I'm just going to take it down to sort of that bit of the camper van and you want to work your way around the camper van. I also got inspiration to do this because um, Nick wanted me to do motor cars last night and I am not very good at the whole motor cars thing, um, but I am, you know, I can be good at um, BWs if I, you know, I want to be. <laughs> Um, if you are watching Tech, do say hi and tell me what you've been up to. We'd love to hear some of your stories. Hey, Caroline. Good to see you're back from work. As you can see, that's a very, very light wash. Um, I will go back over it once it's dry with another colour. I am going to get a smaller paintbrush. I'm going to use my size 4 paintbrush. And I'm going to get my darker colour. I don't know whether you guys can see, but um, it's basically just paint a line for the C. Like I, I like I, if you guys saw um, the one, the beach one that I did, um, it's basically like that. Yeah, I bet. To be fair, Caroline, I will probably feel the same next Sunday or next Friday, more likely. Being out of work for three months and then getting back into it again, that's going to be fun. As you can see, that is my um, my C. Then I'm going to grab my size 5 paintbrush again. And I'm going to get the sandy colour that's already in my um, paper, uh, in my palette, sorry. I'm just going to go. I'm really super excited um, about, like doing this because when I first like started doing um yeah Caroline um when I first started doing this like the art stuff I I've always wanted to to do the camper van but I haven't really found like much confidence in myself to do it um but I think like doing this page with you guys um has given me a lot of confidence and knowing that I've got a lot of like followers and 
people just like backing me up 100% including Dave and my husband and Leanne again this is a very very um she can't forget the most important one of Rex Rex yeah <laughs> you guys can see it's sort of taking shape you see it's sort of sitting on the sand because whenever i think about camper vans i always think of like the sea because i see quite a lot of them like around like the coast and stuff like that we've got quite a lot um around I have a hair on my piece of paper. Let me just grab that off. Hi, Caroline. <laughs> so you can see there. I'm right, gonna go back in with my with my blue sky just to give a bit more colour. I will promise, I promise I will get into the um the actual camper van in a minute. <laughs> I'm just blending it. My favourite um camper vans, as quite a lot of you probably know, is the um split screen camper van. Oh I love camper vans, just so nice. Much as my husband's dismay. No. <laughs> it's fine. Uh what time do you have to get the train tomorrow? Um that's a good question. Um it so my train is actually at twenty past seven, no, twenty past eight. I'm going to go back over with my, my sandy colour again. It's going to make it a bit darker, I think. There you go, that's more sandy colour. And again, you, don't, you can kind of fade it out. You don't have to have like a blocked colour, it you can make it lighter in some places and darker in others. Can you see that kind? It's quite cool, isn't it? You guys think so far? Gonna fill that in again. It's gonna get a really dry brush. Just go along the edge. If you see bleeding happening, the, the basically bleeding is um when the colours mix together. If the, if that happens. All you need to do is you need to scrape your your brush um, along where it's bleeding, just like that, and just like that. Then it will stop it from all running down the page. Okay, so that's enough of my background. And as I said, I'm going to be um, using that as my inspiration photo. Always like this photo. I can't even remember where I got it from going to use my my little brush my size three brush um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my black and i'm going to go around like all the lines that i've painted i'm just going to go around um 
the line so you guys can see. But I've literally got hardly any. Did you draw that? Um, I, kind of. <laughs> I traced over it. I don't know, Dave, if you can put the other camera on. Yeah, I traced over it. Sorry, I wasn't paying close enough attention. That's okay, Dave, it's fine. Yeah, I traced over it. Um, I'm using that photo as an inspiration. But yes, I kind of drew it. I am, by the way. So my brush hardly has any water on it. Um, if you look out for um, some facts about VW campfires. I'm just doing the outline so you guys can see and then what I'll do is I'll fill in the, the colours that need to be filled in So, fun fact for you guys, we, Nick and I had a camp van for our wedding transport. Given the fact you were married, you didn't end up with a Vulcan. <laughs> Very true, Dave. Well, I think, well. To be fair, it might have been a bit tricky parroting out Lane in a wedding dress. <laughs> Nick's finding that amusing. Nick would. <laughs> what are you guys planning this week? What are you guys doing this week? It's an exciting week for me, but what are you guys doing? Right, so I think I've gone over all that I need to go over. I'm just going to leave that to dry a little bit. Um, so what um, I'm going to do, um, so the bottom section of the camper van, so this section of the camper van here, I could have a different camera day, brilliant. Um, this section here is going to be red. So all of this section. And then this section here is going to be white. I will paint the white in. Um, and yeah. 
that's basically and then what I do what I might do is I might pick some trees I might you know I don't know what what else I'll, I'll be able to do but yeah I'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit because I don't want the colors to all bleed in together especially black and um red like that's not a good color um I'm just gonna take a slab of my drink quick what my uh drink of choice well nick made it for me is called a gin buck is that was called yeah a gin buck it's basically spiced gin with ginger ale really nice i didn't know that was called a gin buck actually but yeah it's very nice it's a little treat because i start a new job tomorrow so in my Bombay Sapphire glass. Um, yeah. So, what are you guys drinking on this sleepy sleep? I was going to call it Sleepy Saturday then. It's Sleepy Sunday, isn't it? Definitely Sunday. Yeah, I know. I've lost a day for the whole three months I've been off, though. To be fair. Okay, so I'm going. I've got a really. Ri <laughs> Here at Kirsty's Open Up, I do not advocate consumption of alcohol during the artistic process, although it can help. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> it's a treat. I'm working four days and painting and reading. Oh, Caroline, lovely. That sounds like a really nice week. Like, I mean, obviously, I mean, work is work is all right. Like, you know, you get paid. So, so yeah, I'm going to be doing... Um, my my red section now okay. right let's have the other cam camera day please um if you like i was gonna plan on doing this with acrylic but um and also like well at the beginning i was like yeah i'll do it with acrylic so i have done with acrylic for a while I just prefer like I just I just prefer watercolours. I've said that so many times, but like I really do. Um Yeah. Just easier to blend out. I feel like I missed a comment, Dave. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> there. Um. Obviously, there are lots of different coloured camper vans that you could choose. Getting my hair cut on Saturday. Oh, mate, I wish I my I have to wait till the um eleventh July to get mine cut. Wait, I look. The eleventh would, but the eleventh is the is the Saturday. Yeah. I wonder how I know that particular fact. <laughs> um. So I don't know how many of you know, but Dave is coming down with his girlfriend to visit me and Nick on the eleventh of July, which is very exciting, and he will be popping in um, a live video with myself and maybe Nick, depending on if Nick's to. But I don't think I'm going to force him to. This paintbrush. I need to get, I need to use a different paintbrush. This one um, keeps molting on me, so I'm going to use a different paintbrush. I'm going to use this paintbrush. I'm going to use the number one paintbrush. Um, That's better. That's easy. That's easier because you can get into the little around the edges with it. Yeah, so I start. I, I get the feeling that you had to suddenly stop yourself getting into the little, saying getting into the little cracks. Nooks and crannies, I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. But. <laughs> <laughs> We are behaving. 
family show. Family show. It's a family show. I know it's a family show. It's my page. Right, I'm just going to go over that bit because it's got a bit of black in it, as you can see. So, right, so I've done that section. I'm just going to do this little tiny section on this side. So I can do it. Can you see that, guys? That's really cool, isn't it? Okay, so. I need to find a grey, well, actually what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do grey, I'm going to do yellow for the lights because on this picture it's got grey and I'm like, I don't understand why they're grey, so I'm going to make them yellow. Like, like they probably yellow. just appear grey because the lights themselves weren't actually on, because if you're looking in an actual light of that style, what they were most commonly is a reflective silvery back with a bulb in the middle to actually reflect the light outwards. So it probably just appears that way. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I just think it looks better with them. Um... And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your completely useless fact of the day. I know you like completely useless facts. Um... So, yeah, this is also just another light, which I'm going to do orange because it's not the main light. And the main light is... Um, I feel like yeah, that, that little light that is, quotes not the It's also more commonly known as the indicator. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> Definitely. I definitely know my camper vans. Had to um, make a special trip out to get tracing paper today from the works. Oh, love the works. The works are sponsored my video. At this point, if it wasn't, you'd no longer be in business. Well, Nick just said, um, I wonder if they'd sponsor my video. Which I highly doubt. But, you know. Interesting. Mm. That's an interesting thought. Yeah. You know, maybe one, one day for my birthday, I'll do that. I don't know why I said my birthday, but birthday on my brain. <laughs> or Christmas. Or any any other special occasion that yes I am I am looking in the general direction of my husband here when I'm talking about it. Mm, I think I need to do a little bit of red here as well. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so go back to the go back to the white. And then <clears throat> paintbrush is not clean. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to 
clean my paintbrush and get another one. Get this one. There's so many paintbrushes. Right. And the paint for this. You can see, guys, I'm just painting it white. Just going to get some grey and just more well, black and just some shading. just adding more water just to make it lighter and lighter as it's further and further away from the camper van itself. Honestly, guys, this is so easy to do. I'm going to make it a little bit more dark up the top here. Obviously, you can have shadows wherever you want to have them. Depends where the sun is. I'm going to go sort of back here as well a little bit. Okay, get some more water on that. Just take it out a bit. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> I'm just going to fade it out just to front a bit. on that okay and also on my canvas I have um some I'm gonna do it on this side because I've done the shadow on this side on this side it's got some like some grass and some hills 
So I'm just gonna lightly dot where my grass and my hills are gonna be. Then I'm gonna get another green. It's gonna add it in. You see that the grassy hills? <laughs> Keep going, I think. I think this is definitely one of the best ones that I've done. But um I'm gonna make them a bit more defined as grassy hills. Also in my picture, I have got some clouds. Let me see if I can. Here's some clouds. I might actually just do them in that kind of blue because then they stand out a bit more. So again, just mark out where you want your clouds to be. In that darker blue. It just gives the, pic the picture just another sort of dimension. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go back in, drag the paint, drag the paint into the middle. Just use the paint that's on your, that's actually on the cloud. Don't use any more. Paint. There you go. Just as going back for another bit of paint. So yeah, fluffy clouds in the sky. Not all clouds are the same, so it doesn't matter what they look like. I'm just gonna hold this down because my paper's gone all funny and wrinkly. Um, guys, just um, I'm coming to the end of my video. Um. But I just thought I would um, let you know that I'm so I'm starting my new job tomorrow. Um, so I won't be on for a few days because I just need to get used to the um, the rhythm of just like being back at work. Um, and also because it's a new environment, et cetera, et cetera. I just need to, you know, spend some time relaxing in the evenings and stuff so I will be back um but in the meantime I do believe that Dave has a plan yes Dave have plans uh and ideas in the works um so essentially what's going to happen over the course of the next uh and we two um at the moment is although you might not see as much of Kirsty, you will start seeing more of Nick and unfortunately for you lot myself um we're probably not going to be on the same daily availability that we have been for the uh recently um certainly for the next couple of weeks um but as i say i we, we will still try and get on as often as we can. We do have um, some tutorials already uh, ready to go. Um, unfortunately, there's some technical issues at the moment that mean that we can't actually get those up. But as soon as um, as soon as we've got those resolved, I will get them up as soon as possible across Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Um, so they will all be up together 
as soon as possible. Um, in the interim, we will still be around. So obviously you can still send a message and, and we'll you as soon as we can. Um, I'm for the moment, I'm still working from home. So I'm constantly on uh, my laptop and on my phone. So I will I've got pretty much constant access at the moment. Obviously, Kirsty's going back to work, so her access is going to be restricted. But equally, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. As it has been quite heavily, or as it always has been, commissions are still available if you would like them. Message us for details. Um, and Kirsty will get back to you as soon as she can, because obviously it's Kirsty that does them. You do not want to see my art skills. Um, <laughs> But um, obviously, just please do bear in mind that obviously, Kirsty is starting a new job. I am working, so responses may be a little bit delayed, but we will get back to you as soon as we can. So please do bear with us. Also, Nick will also reply if he can. <laughs> uh, Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll make I'll uh, update the system accesses and actually give him access then. <laughs> I think it's about time. <laughs> Bless him. Right. Well, he's, it's it's only fair that he actually does some work, some of the behind some work. I mean, we can't just have him swanning around taking credit for something he's not doing. <laughs> So, guys, thank you um, for watching. Um, thank you, Dave, for that. Um, much appreciated. Um, I'm very sorry, guys, that... Well, I'm not sorry, actually. But I'm very excited about my new job. But I'm sorry that I won't be on as much as I have been. I literally have been home for the past three months. So I've had time to do my part. Um, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Um, come back and chat to us. Um, if you guys are watching on replay, please put hashtag replay um, because Dave, Nick and I and also Rex, um, we like to um, see who's been watching. Um, if you can, um, so I've shared all my I've shared Kirsty's life in art to all my friends uh, and Dave has to his. Nick has yet to do that, but we're working on that. Um, but if you can, please just share it around. If you're on, if you're joining us from YouTube and you've got Facebook, come on my Facebook page and then share that with everyone because, you know, this is this is something that we love to do. And Dave is doing complete. Well, we're doing completely free of charge. You know, this is volunteering and and we love it. And I'm actually going to miss doing it um the next few few days. But having said that, um, if I feel like okay enough to do a live it'll be a short live but i will still hop on and i will say hi um because i will miss you guys and i miss talking to dave and it's funny puns and interesting um but yeah you're not getting um, away from me that easily i will still be around i know but um yeah so i'm not going forever i'm just going for a few days uh, maybe a few weeks um depends on how i feel but yeah I hope you guys are well. Please stay safe. Please message me if you want any commissions. Please message Dave if you have any technical problems with anything, because I literally don't know. I had to have a three-way message with Leanne and Dave and me yesterday because I had no idea what to do. So um, anyway, I hope you guys are all right. Stay safe and God bless. <laughs>